At 1.17 a.m. on the 5th of May 1981, 39 years ago, my friend and comrade Bobby Sands died after 66 days on hunger strike. I actually didn't hear about Bobby's death until later that morning, sometime around uh, 10.30 or 11 a.m. Uh, I was in my cell in the H-blocks. Uh, I had already at this stage volunteered to go on hunger strike myself and I realised that with Bobby's death the hunger strike was set to continue. Bobby was a young man when he died, he was only 27 years of age, uh, he was the father of a young son, he himself was a son and a brother, a member of a, a family who loved him dearly and his death was a, a massive loss to that whole extended family circle and Bobby's death was also a massive loss to us, his friends and comrades in the H-blocks and the wider Republican movement. Maggie Thatcher had said the prisoners did not have any support, that the IRA did not have any support, yet in one of the most significant events that took place during those momentous months of the hunger strikes in 1981, when Bobby was elected as the MP for Fermanagh and South Tyrone, Thatcher's argument was blown completely out of the water when the people of Fermanagh and South Tyrone came out in their thousands and elected Bobby as an MP to Westminster. And that was the front page news throughout the world on that day back in April 1981. And no one with any objectivity believed that Bobby Sands was anything other than a political prisoner and it's a measure of the man that Bobby was that when the second hunger strike uh, was planned he decided that he would lead it out on his own so that if anyone had to die it would be him uh, and he made that massive sacrifice uh, not just for us his comrades in the prisons but for everyone uh, on this island who believed in freedom and justice, that he believed his actions would advance our struggle uh, for freedom and for unity on this island. And Bobby's legacy lives on today. Many, many people have been inspired by his struggle uh, and his uh, death on hunger strike in the H-blocks. Since my own release from prison, uh, I've visited many countries, including places like South Africa, uh, Palestine, the Basque country, where there's still ongoing struggles for freedom and independence. And on every occasion I've visited those countries, people have spoken about Bobby Sands and about the hunger strike. And he has become like Che Guevara, an icon for freedom loving people everywhere, people who are engaged in struggle and who are suffering under the yoke of oppression. Uh, and that's the impact that Bobby Sands has had uh, even since his death 39 years ago. And I know many, many young people here in Ireland have been inspired by Bobby and by his sacrifice. And you know, Bobby, uh, like most of us, was a multi-dimensional character. He, of course, was a family man. Uh, he was also a poet and a writer. He was a lover of the Irish language, a fluent Gilgore himself, uh, and many of his writings were actually in Irish. Uh, as I sat in my cell in the H-blocks that morning when I heard of Bobby's death, and reflecting on the, the future, and that I probably would end up on hunger strike myself, and of course, uh, I did later on replace Kieran Doherty on the hunger strike in August 1981 and remained on it for 55 days until the hunger strike ended uh, on the 3rd of October. Uh, as luck would have it, I survived. Uh, however, it was quite a demoralising period for all the prisoners in the H-blocks at that time. We had lost 10 of our best comrades, 10 of our leaders. Uh, and we hadn't achieved all we had hoped at that time 
However, within a very short space of time afterwards, uh, 38 prisoners had escaped in a mass breakout from Long Cash and the H blocks. And within a short space of time after that, all the demands that we had sought during the hunger strike were achieved. And of course, it wasn't just within the prisons that the success continued. On the outside, uh, republicanism has gone from strength to strength. There are more people in Ireland today who support the ideal of a united, independent Ireland than ever before. There are more people involved in the Republican struggle than ever before. And credit for much of that must go to Bobby Sands and his comrades who stood up against the British in 1981 and refused to bend the knee. And likewise, we as Republicans have to continue to finish the job that they began. And we also must face up to the responsibilities and the work that needs to be done. Let's be inspired by people like Bobby Sands and his comrades who died on hunger strike in 1981. In the animage, Jeremy, Kajol, or Bobby, August, Nafarella, Furbas, or Stalkokri, Shinija, Akdoa Hain, Bursiat, Bas, or Son, Searsha, August, or Son, Munchernaharan.